In this video we will show you how to set up produce and consume transactions. First we go to the serial RS232 RS485 tab, communication. Here we set the serial protocol to custom produce consume. Confirm the change. Set your physical standard, in our case RS485 and baud rate is 19200 baud. Next we go to the nodes and transactions tab. We add a node and name it produce. Next we click the down arrow on the add button and select add from new transaction template. We name the template produce. Next we add a data object, drag and drop it into the frame field. We set the length to 9 bytes. We go back to the nodes and transactions tab. We name the transaction produce. Change the update mode from cyclically to change of state on trigger. Now we add another node and name it consume. Next we click the down arrow on the add button and select add from new transaction template. We name the template consume. We change the transaction type to consume. We add a data object, drag and drop it into the frame field. We set the length to 9 bytes. We go back to the nodes and transactions tab. We change the timeout time to 10 seconds. We do this for the purpose of this video. We go to the IO data map tab. For our produce node we would like to have the change of state on trigger byte first in the IO area. So, we drag and move the trigger byte to be first in the data from the PLC. Next we apply the configuration. We can see that it has 9 bytes input and 10 bytes output, the extra byte in the output is the trigger byte. For the purpose of this video we have already prepared a PLC and you can see that once the configuration was applied the data exchange went active. Let's go online with the PLC. We can see that the input are on the internal address of 32 through 40 and the output are on 32 through 41. We open a watch table. We have prepared this watch table for you. First we have listed the input bytes then the output bytes. Let's enable monitoring. Now we can see the current values. In the bottom right corner we have a serial terminal application running, that is connected to the Anybus communicator. We will send the ASCII string consume 00. In the input area you can now see that we get some data, this is the hex representation. The input values will be cleared after the 10 seconds timeout we previously set in the configuration. Unless we get new data within those 10 seconds. Let's change the display format. Now let's send consume 01. As you can see in the input area we now receive consume 01. And consume 0 2. In the output area, we have set modify values to produce 0 1 in hex format. As you can see, the trigger byte has not been changed, it remains at a value of 0. Let's force this to be sent. Produce 0 1 is now sent to the Anybus communicator. We can see this in the monitor values. But nothing happens on the serial terminal. That is because we have set this transaction to be sent on change of state on trigger. Let's see what happens if we change the trigger byte to a 1. We now force the values again. Now we can see produce 0 1 being received in the serial terminal. Let's change to produce 0 2. Let's change the trigger byte also. We force this to be sent. As you can see we can change the value in the trigger byte with the same force. We can change the display format for the output bytes too.
We send produce 03, we first send the values. Then we use the trigger byte to send them on the serial side. 